Hello YouTube, this is the Magnum 924 here, and I know it's been a while, but it's finally time for me to start my Sonic Heroes playthrough. Let's begin. Okay, one player story mode. Now I'm just gonna do a rundown of the four players, four teams you can pick for. Now Team Sonic, it consists of the three main Sonic players, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Um, and also in all all four of these, there's three different classes. There's the Speed class, the Flying class, and the Power class. Each of them has specific abilities that helps you out through the game. You don't have to technically you technically don't have to switch from the three, but it definitely benefits you if you do. Um, Sonic is basically the ideal team to play with in this game. Aside from well, never mind. Because uh, definitely the fastest, um, there's overall best I think, and they're obviously the rec most recognizable, so you feel more attached to them. Team Dark, they play exactly the same as Team Sonic, except their uh, Omega Super Attack that he gets when he gets three power ups is a little different than Knuckles, but it has the same effect. Um, their level, their levels are also pretty much exactly the same. Their final challenge at the end, each of each second stage is exactly the same. So basically, but it's a little bit more difficult sometimes, I think, from what I can remember. So basically, you only play as Team Dark if you want to see the rest of the story, or you just want to have a little more challenge than the Team Sonic one. Team Rose, it's apparently it's the level that the game wants new players to start out with, because for some reason Team Rose is the only team that has a tutorial level to start with. Like the other levels, the other people, you can play them and then it doesn't have the tutorial. Like, you can go to the tutorial by pressing Y, I think. Or, I think it's somewhere on the, on the, um, what does Y do? Oh yeah, you know, I'm just gonna let that guy tell you. Should I start with? <laughs> you heard Team Roses, now Team Kelly. Yeah, the Chow told you. <laughs> I'll just say it again. Team Chaotic is the only one that it doesn't. It doesn't just get you to the end and you stop. You have to like complete missions and then get to the end. So I mean, it's definitely the most unique to play with. I'll play with Team Sonic and Team Chaotic. You don't need to play with all four of them in order to get the story. You just have to play with one. Really, I mean, Team Sonic and Team Dark story are basically the same. They're all interconnected at the end, but it, it's not... You don't really have to uh, play with all four in order to get the final boss. It, it's... You just had to play with one. So yeah, uh... Team Sonic, let's go! I'll try not to talk during the cutscenes unless I need to point something out. I never liked Tails. I really never have. You can sue me if you like him, but I don't care. I don't. I never liked him. Long time no see. Sonic, check this out. <laughs> First, you've got to like Knuckles. I mean, he's voiced by Dan Green. Just saying. <laughs> Seaside Hill. Now, in each of these episodes, I'll try to get through all three of the, um... Of the, uh... Of the, of the stages in each level. So, yeah, just... Um... Now... This thing will probably run a little bit longer, so I had to do the little intro part two. And sorry if the camera seemed to be lagging a little bit. Um, it, it's it, it. I personally think it's better than my little 
camcorder that had the little lines running down all the time that was just really annoying. So yeah, um, so what you want to do with these is it use tails and, and go the far right one and just aim with your B button attack and then it'll get all three and you get like an extra ring bonus from it. I mean, you don't have to do it with all of them, but if you want to get a bunch of lives, that's the best way. And a really cool thing is the checkpoints, they give you a one little power-up thing. Like I was talking about earlier with, um, with Knuckles and all the other power class people. When you get, you can get a max of three, uh, power-ups, as they're called. And... The different power-ups, they, they like, get you more powerful, more moves you can use, especially with Tails. You're basically useless unless you get them two power-ups. At least that's what I can find. Oh, whatever. Oh, I forgot this key. One thing I need to mention, um, unlike most other Sonic games, Instead of getting 50 rings and then completing the level, in this game, in order to get to the Chaos Emerald, um, you have to com you have to complete the level while still having that key, which you lose whenever you die. Whenever you uh, obviously lose when you die, but you lose whenever you get hit. So and you can't recollect, it, which is evil. <laughs> it's hard enough to get. But then when you can't even, you can't even recollect it, that's just, oh, I find that really unfair. And yeah, there are two in, two within each level, but still, at least be able to, I don't know, maybe it's a little more of a penalty just to, to um, I guess it's a little more of a penalty when you lose one when that happens, when you get hit when that happens, but it's just, I don't know. Never really understood that. Now these trolley sections, I find them a little pointless. I, I, I enjoy them, but sometimes. But they just, I just find them a little pointless. Let's see, let's go ahead and um, put this with the uh, knuckles. Now, let me show you something. By pressing B button with him, you bring Sonic and Tails into your fist, and then you're able to punch with them. By when, when you don't have any power-ups, you just do this. But when you have at least when you have one, you do this. Well, oh, wow, it was so confusing. You just send out a bigger shotgun. When he has two, he he sends out fire. Sometimes whenever you're using him, he like he punches more than once. I mean, it gets really annoying. I don't really get why. I better not lose this key. Because <laughs> I always manage to lose it at the very end of each level. That always seems that way. Let's see if I can get this. I've never seen me able to get this one. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, I didn't need that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything important in there. Ah, oh, I need to get up to Knuckles. Oh well. I'm sure I'll get one more. I think there's at least one more checkpoint area. You no, don't sign this. Now, I'm going to try to avoid using Tails as much as possible, because like I said, I don't like him. I don't like how he talks. I don't like his moveset very much. I just overall don't like playing as Tails. So, I mean, I'll try to avoid playing as him as much as I possibly can. Ooh. Okay, there's something seriously wrong with what Knuckles says. Not right there, watch. Like, 
If you heard that wrong, like, were, are you trying to... Just listen. Yeah. After Tails is done talking. For the longest time, I thought he was saying the S word. For the longest time. Like, I don't even... I don't know what he's saying. Shift? <laughs> that just sounds stupid. Oh yeah, right. When you play as when you play as a power character, you can either shoot one off with the A button or shoot all of them off with the B button. The B button is never useful. I don't know why they wouldn't just allow you to shoot them, shoot one with the A or the B button. I, mean, I never think I'm gonna reach this point. Look, it glitches you onto it. <laughs> Another Charlie section. I, mean, I like the idea. I just think they could have been. I don't know. Like I said, they seem a little useless. They don't really gain you anything. Except just to have another little layer to the gameplay. It's a good attempt, I guess, but it's nothing really. Nothing really that is that special. I can just. Now, watch Knuckles as he has full power. I think I die. <laughs> he sends little fireballs out everywhere and kills every well, almost everything, apparently. All of them have something similar to it. Um, like, uh, for Team... What is it called? Uh, team Dark, or Team... Yeah, Team Dark. Um, Omega sent... Oh, so close. I would've... I was so mad if I had lost my, uh... My, um... What's it called? Uh... Ring there. He, uh... Omega sends out missiles everywhere. And kills almost everything. He actually does kill everything. Team Blast! And everything is gone. Yes, yes, it is. So here. Oh, okay. There's like an alternate way you could go or something and be able to get there too. I mean, I've I played this game a long time, but I haven't really explored everywhere. And E, B. Too really? easy. Yeah, you get ranked on how well you did. How many power ups you had, what how, yeah, what time it took. I never was able to figure out what this thing was. I mean, maybe it's how many levels you've beaten, how many times you've gotten to the end, I don't know. Now, these bonus challenges, they're only there so that you can get ready to get to the emerald in the next, in the second stage. Like, with what you get, what you do is you get these different balloons, and then by pressing the B button, you use up the balloons with still your meter, but, um, and then you're able to move faster, which is a pretty cool concept, I think. Now, never, under any circumstances, play as Tails, watch. He's so slow and hard to control. Like, even by pressing the B button, he's still so slow. There's always these stages where the the um two chow the chow and the dark chow I'm guessing it's the dark chow whatever send out little either bombs or the ones that give you more and then yeah they're, they're kind of like the uh, they're kind of like the um the trolley stages they're really pointless and <laughs> kind of they take way too long to do. It does lag. This game does seem to lag a little bit. I don't really call it lagging. I don't know. It's a tail section. Not much. I love the music for this. For this though, well, that's the. Well, not for the only redeeming factor, but it's it's definitely something that makes me want to come back and play this over and over again. The music. Yeah, I would expect great music from a Sonic game. This is just amazing, I think. Yes. And you get 
ranked and get anywhere from zero to five level ups, depending on how good you did. I got five because I did amazing, obviously. Now, like I said earlier, this this um, uh, episode might last a little longer than I would like it. That's only because I took like five minutes at the beginning to explain everything and about the level limit, like explaining stuff as what to do. So just bear with it. It should be no longer than 25 minutes, hopefully. about Knuckles is that when you're playing with him, um, Sonic and Tails just are sent out and just kill the enemies. Like, it's automatic. You don't have to do anything. They just do it. So I really like. I'm not going to say this is my favorite game ever, but as you can probably tell, I, I have a lot of gripes and races for this game, um, I'm a little, like, I'm both ways about it, I don't really, I mean, I don't hate it, but it's, it's definitely not the best game ever, it's definitely not what I would consider the best for Sonic, I mean, it's okay, but it's just not, you know, amazing. Like, there's a lot of things in this game that are kind of, I find a little pointless. I like the homie, I like the, uh, wall, the, uh, wall jump thing. The thing that are kind of pointless, like the, the, those chow sections, or the, um, or the, uh, or uh, these sections, really, the fans. Like, it's just a gimmick, that's all it is. The triangle dive, it's, it's, like I said, it's just a gimmick. Again, killing almost everything. Now, do you think I, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but I don't really like how if you switch characters midway while you're doing that, the attack doesn't go off. So sometimes, like, if you want to, like, attack a different enemy than you're attacking right now, that either can't be affected by power for some reason, which I know there's not that many like that, but if there was something like that, you'd rather attack it like a flying enemy, you can't just switch. You have to actually, um, let the attack go and then switch, maybe even getting hit in the process. Also, you can't switch while you're in the air, which is a little nitpick, but it's just kind of annoying how you can't just instantly, um, yeah, attack while you switch while you're in the air. So, you, what is really annoying is when you want to give a certain in, a certain character a, um, a certain enemy a, uh, what's it called, um, oh, I was Knuckles? I'm sure it was Sonic. I know where the other um, key is, so it's not that big of a deal. That was stupid. Now you could get the shield off with with a Sonic, but it's much more fun than this. Again, killing everything. Oh, maybe the attack does go off sometimes. Maybe you don't have to time it right for it not to. Unless I get unlucky, I don't know. Now, one time while I was playing with, um, with, uh, Shadow at that part, I once did, like, a, 
a um combo um whatever like a combo um uh tornado blue tornado or black tornado in shadow's case like i hit one with the black tornado and then what happened was they went up in the air so then because i was because there was no other enemies i did it again and then i went up in the air sitting him even further i was so high i like I just glitched back onto the ground. It was kind of cool, actually. Like here, that would be really nice if I could just switch the knuckles right now, so I wouldn't just be, you know, flying there awkwardly. I didn't miss the other key. I think it's right here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Come on, get back, get back. Okay, good. I hope I can keep this thing, because I always seem to lose it, like, in the very end of levels where I need it. Like, you don't even really need it, um, unless you're doing a, uh, a, um, Emerald Challenge thing. Now, this is one of those challenges I was talking about, like, there's always, at the end of all of these stages, of the second stage, there's always, like, a challenge. You have to, like, either run away from something, or, like, beat something. Usually run away from something. I think it's almost always run away from something, actually. Always play a Sonic in those levels. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Okay. Yes. Okay, I'll try to beat the uh, Egg Hog in a pretty swift fashion. And I should get A for that one. Yep. That was tight! I mean, the first level throwing giant rocks at you, that's just amazing, I think. I mean, it's really, like, it's definitely a very strong, like, a very strong, um, indication of what's to come. Like, if you, that's the first level, what's next? And it gets much crazier after that. Now, you just have to chase the casserole. So, I mean, the good thing about these levels is they don't force you to switch. So they don't force you to switch into Sonic, uh, to, um, what's it called, uh, Tails? Or the other flying character. So you don't get slowed down. So much. Yeah. Okay, so you just keep pressing B pretty much, unless you can't. Or unless the energy meter is all the way down, you can't press B anymore. Three levels and an emerald. Now, I definitely will not be able to get the chaos emerald for every single stage, because that would be basically impossible. Because some of the stages, like, I just can't do it without getting hit at least once on the final challenge, like I keep saying. So most of them are probably just going to die anyway. <laughs> Awesome boss music. Okay, to be Now, to let you guys know, the only other Sonic game that I that I currently own is um is Sonic Advance 2 for the Game Boy. And I'll say that is a not very good Sonic game. Like I mean, the platforming stages are okay, but the bosses aren't very good. Um, there's one. Okay, there we go. The how you get the chaos emerald is terrible. It's almost impossible for me to get because you have to like get 50 rings. You have to get like 300 rings, which is pretty hard by itself in this area where there's also this demon robot thing that's trying to kill you and it always comes from behind you so you don't know where it's going to come from and you can barely avoid it it's just not a very pleasant experience oh, come on 
I mean, I'm sure I could beat it eat faster with Knuckles, but there's really no point. <laughs> I think it's too far away, he'll rush at you. So don't don't bother about like, trying to keep up with Knuckles. See, it just doesn't hit sometimes. I find that weird. Yep, 12 damage in one hit. Probably could have killed it a lot faster, but I just wanted to show off, you know, right. Sonic's awesome homing attack, I guess. I just like doing that, just attacking him over and over again with Sonic. You get a... Uh, a... B? Really? Ready for the junk pile. Wow. If you liked this video, please leave a comment, a rate, and subscribe. Please comment to say if you... how common or how often you want me to upload these. I'll shoot for once every two weeks. I'll try anyway. I have been kind of slacking off a little bit with my upload times. Um, I try to upload Brawl videos more often. Uh, so yeah, um, rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.